AV bundle that is the bundle of some nodal fibers from atrioventricular nodes they just start from this AV bundle and then passes the atrioventricular septum and then emerges at the top of the septum that is they just start from AV node and then after covering the entire AV septum they emerge on the top of it and then after that they just divide into right and left sides that is uh, right and left bundles and after dividing into right and left bundle they just like emerges a little branches from their fibers so discussing further that how then this is going to cover up the entire heart and after that how the entire heart is going to uh, like emerge impulses and generate uh, pressures and then uh, blood flow how it is going to be done we'll be discussing now as you can see in this i have drawn something that how the like nodal tissue is being uh, distributing that from the av bundle it uh, just crosses the av septum and after that got divided into right and left bundle and after that these branches give rise to minute fibers yes these branches give right to that uh, respective right and left branches give right to mine give rise to minute fibers and these fibers further like cover up the whole of the ventricular musculature and these fibers uh, these minute fibers which are arising from these branches called as purkinje fibers purkinje fiber now uh, i made these purkinje fibers you can see how the small small fibers are coming out from right and left branches now these small purkinje fibers which are covering up the whole uh, ventricular musculature plus the right and left branches right and left bundles they together mix up and form bundle of his so it is many times asked in the question that what is bundle of his what is purkinje fibers so you no need to get confused about this now uh we will be discussing that what is the significance of this nodal tissue why we have this nodal tissue so the importance or significance of this nodal tissue is to generate action potentials without external stimuli that's why the heart is called as auto excitable organ and this property is auto excitability now uh, these action potentials vary in different parts of heart like they're not same in the number different parts of heart have different uh, number of action potentials now if we see to this the uh, sinoatrial node that is san node can generate action potentials that is 70 to 75 number of action potentials per minute now uh, that is why we call san as pacemaker because uh, san is responsible for inis uh, initiating uh, these action potential as well as maintaining the rhythmic contractions of heart that's why san is called as a pacemaker and that's why our heart beats 70 to 75 times per minute of average of 72 beats per minute so this video is about the introductory part as well as the structure of the heart in the next video i'll be uh, dealing with the topic of cardiac cycle so thank you for watching and if you like the video and if it is a little bit be helpful to you then please like it